August 18th. God is calm in the face of man's rebellion. Psalm 2, verse 4. The one enthroned in heaven laughs. The Lord scoffs at them. Mighty rulers love to boast about their power and their greatness and their vast armies and navies. God laughs at their puny threats. He's not amused. Nebuchadnezzar, the Babylonian king, boasted about his greatness and about his power and how he would conquer. In Daniel 4, verse 34, we read these words. At the end of that time, I, Nebuchadnezzar, raised my eyes toward heaven and my sanity was restored. Then I praised the Most High, honored and glorified Him who lives forever. What was that time? Well, this king, who was prideful in his arrogance, had boasted that he was mightier than God Himself. And as a result, he was thrown into insanity for seven times, which I assume were seven years, he roamed around as a wild animal, eating the grass, um, not being clean. And then, at the end of that time, we, we read that verse. He came to his senses. He got his sanity back. And instead of wanting praise, he gave praise where praise is due to the Most High, to God Almighty. Napoleon Bonaparte, when intoxicated with success at the height of his power, is reported to have said, I make circumstances. God laughs. Oh, really? God let him go on for a while, and then he spoke to him in his anger and terrified him in his fury. Verse 5 of Psalm 2. Napoleon came to nothing. God is not trembling in fear while hiding under his throne. He is not filled with anxiety. What are human beings that he cares for them, mere mortals that he thinks of them? He is God, and we 